Ooh, what's going on people, it's Shimano YB, back once again. So, the Prince Turkey Sheikh Mohammed Salman bin card for Wembley, September 21st, has been officially announced today. Now, I guess to some extent, I put my hands in the air, my base case was that it was going to be a bum for AJ, because I was hoping there'd be some... Bear in mind, T Music already said months ago they have no intentions on relieving or relinquishing the belt they've literally just won a month ago. For two bodybuilding bums, he already beat up three times. How can you beat two men three times and lose your belt? The blow hole, right? So T Music told you, man, hey, boom, I'm not fixing to give up a belt. In fact, Music's beat. Three bums, three bare heavyweight bodybuilding, sorry, two bare bodybuilding bums and one cat from Benidorm four times. He beat three men four times. Three men four times. He stopped two of them, arguably. Fury, people, without the authorities, Tyson Fury claims to be bare knuckle, right? In bare knuckle rules, Tyson Fury had been knocked out. Spark out. There'd be no referee jumping in to save his ass. So, you sick, yeah? You sick beat these cats. Beat three of the biggest individuals I've ever seen in my life. Four times. And he knocked two of them out. How can that individual who goes on that run back to back to back. AJ, AJ, Dubois, Fury. How can that individual. And by the way, he's fixing to fight Fury again. That run there. AJ, AJ, Dubois, Fury, Fury. How can that individual be stripped? It's an embarrassment on the game. And I'm disappointed with Turkey. I really am. Turkey never should have backed this. I'm skeptical of how much you really appreciate the game. And how much he's just trying to suck off big old bulls. Like these two here. That's what that's what Usyk alluded to. Usyk said, the world loves bodybuilders. Look at this one here, look. The IBF belt is my present for you. The world loves bodybuilders. The world loves strong. Yeah, so he's implying that Turkey loved the big bulls. The big strong weightlifters. Not, not people, I like them too in that sense, ideologically speaking, I'd like to think a big man beats a small man, but at the end of the day, if a small man beats a big man, that's on them, with the big asses. you're bare bums in the shower now, go and fight for Nobel, go, AJ, Dubois, you two need to be fighting for the EBU title, European, right, that's your level, you cats are the European type, I tell you what, you can't even do European, because you six European, you can't even do that belt. AJ Verdebois should be the British Championship kind of level, in my opinion. That's what they deserve right now. They damn sure don't deserve a world title that Usyk just w w uh, competed for and won. That's what they can never compete for. This is a British, for me, g genuinely, people. If you said, no joke. If someone said to me, YB, you've got two choices. This fight here, Dubois versus AJ, to be for the IBF world title that's been stripped from Usyk, or... For a British Championship, I would 10 times out of 10 tell you it should be for the British Championship. Every time. Fact. No, I'm not even putting some hyperbole on there. Yeah? Not even doing that. I'm genuinely serious. This should be a British Championship fight. Because you two are losers to this guy. Two losers, three losers, can never strip the winner's belt. Under no circumstances. If you have to fight people, if AJ and Dubois have to fight your call for a British title for the next 10 years... Until they beat Usyk, that's what they have to do, in my opinion. Anyway, these are the times we're in. And Turkey, clearly, he loved AJ and Dubois for some reason. Um, and they've decided to strip. And that's what I don't get as well. Like, Turkey was complaining at the IBF for trying to get in the way of Canelo versus uh, Crawford. But yeah, he's not complaining at the IBF. I haven't heard Turkey say anything about how he wants the IBF to be for undisputed. And besides, he could have not backed this. Turkey could have said, listen, AJ, listen, Dubois, if you want my backing, if you want my big coin, you, this fight will take place, but it won't be for the belt, because it's not. It doesn't make sense to no one. It makes a mockery of the Joe Public. Joe Public, people, Joe Public, if you think this is serious, if you think these guys are serious champions, that's an embarrassment. These two are bare bums in the shower to the real champion that's actually earned it in the ring. U6 earned this belt in the ring four times. These two have done nothing in the ring but lose. That's the God's honest truth. I hate to say it to you. Yes, Dubois may have got better. Yes, AJ may have got better. End of the day, that's not no one's problem. Damn sure it's not Usyk's problem.
If you two big bodybuilders didn't turn up on your best game, nothing to do with him. Try to sit there quietly, play with your little fake British title belt, and wait in turn until you can have another go on the king. Yeah? Anyway, so that's the main fight. I'm not impressed. I'll, I'll be happy. I'm not really bothered who wins. I'd like to have thought AJ wins, but if AJ, I'd love to see AJ get clipped on his head. That's the truth. That's this situation's pissed me off. I'd love to see AJ get clipped right on the side of his head and him and watch his face go like, "Oh, I don't want to fight anymore." I think that's what's in him. You know, watching this guy be happy to strip music of his belt just so he can get one and he can run around claiming to be three-time world champion. How embarrassing! You got Michael Benson here. I'm going to do a separate video on this, but you got Michael Benson here. Look, Anthony Joshua will attempt to become the sixth three-time heavyweight world champion in boxing when he fights Daniel Dubois. Like, what planet are you on? What, that, that's what I'm talking about. This is exactly why this shouldn't be right. Yeah? AJ, you're not in Muhammad Ali, M Michael Mora, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Vidal. You're not in their league, mate. I mean, you're just not. You're not in their league like that. Yeah, the fact you keep losing to everyone who's half decent. Ruiz, you lost. They ran away from him in the second fight. Usyk, you lost. Anyone who's half decent, you lose. So... We ain't doing that. You can't just keep losing to everyone and not fighting hard, which you didn't. You didn't fight hard against Ruiz in the first fight. In the second fight, you ran from him, so you definitely don't, you right? So you, you, you ran from Ruiz twice. You didn't do nothing with Usyk. And you're trying to be in their arm three time world champion. AJ, you could legitimately be 10 time world champion because you'll just keep losing. And then coming back and fighting a bum or coming back and politicking a belt for a bum against a bum. Yeah? Forget about, forget about that. No real boxing fan cares that AJ's lost every big fight and then got come back and fought a bum for a belt. Yeah? Anyway, let's get to the rest of the cards because it's pissing me off even talking about this guy. But yeah, I'd love to see Dubois. Uh, my base case is... In fact, let's have a look at the odds now. Joshua versus Dubois. I might, I'm, I'm hoping the odds are good enough. Because if they are, I'm going to put some money on AJ. So that, you know what I mean? People, let's, if I put money on AJ, he fixed to lose. Oh, the odds are massive. Wow. No, I'm not putting money on AJ. That's, that's crazy. AJ is a massive favourite, people. You put a tenner on AJ, you get £2.20 profit back. That is phenomenal. I'd never put, I'd never back them odds. I'd never back them odds. You put a tenner on Dubois, you get 40 quid profit back. Those are the odd situation now. So gun to my head. I'm not going to do it because I don't, I, I don't like it. Neither of them too much. I don't like the odds too much. But if I was going to do it, it'd be Dubois all day. Because Dubois has at least shown he was getting punched up against Hergovic. He came back through adversity and, and shone bright. So I like Dubois on that basis. This for me is more of a 60-40 fight for AJ. Because we haven't seen from AJ what happens when he gets hit in his head. And I'd like to think Dubois can hit him in his head. At least a few times. And I've got a feeling when it, once AJ gets hit, them eyes are going to go glassy. As they've always done. And he's going to think, ooh. Ow. This isn't fair. I only, I'm only good at hitting people hard. I don't like being hit hard myself. Ruiz don't even hit hard like that. Right? This is well documented. Ruiz does not punch like that. AJ got clocked on the side of his head. Ow. Don't, I'm on my big ass. Don't want to fight no more. Right? AJ versus Usyk. In the first fight in particular. Even the second fight, he got punched up by a dude who, again, can't punch like that. Dubois, punch for punch, can definitely punch harder than Usyk. He's not as slick. He's not as accurate or technical. But if Dubois can put his chin down and wade in and get something off on AJ, which I hope he can, because that's what he deserves. AJ deserves to get knocked out and embarrassed again and storm off in a big huff. Because this is pathetic behaviour from a grown-ass man, a 35-year-old father. AJ, what are you teaching your son here? You can lose and then politic away back to winning. That's, you can't even call it winning a belt. And look at this situation here. You've got AJ in Dubois, yeah? You've got AJ in Dubois. And it's like... What the blowhole is this? You've got AJ in Dubois. Dubois is the IBF champion. That, that's just a mad situation in itself but what they've done is it said somewhere here that Dubois where is it Dubois has been elevated 
Dubois made it to IBF, the full IBF champion Dubois is now, which is just nuts, right? But even so, so Dubois is the IBF champion, and somehow AJ has fadangled his name on the front of the card. Again, this shows you bougie behaviour. That prima donna behaviour. Oh, I'm not even a Dubois. Again, I don't believe Dubois is the champion, but you get the point. If anyone's at the top of the card, right? Look, you can see here, look. Dubois has got the belt on in the picture. Daniel Dubois has the belt on in the picture, people. That's what he has. And yet he's second to this guy who has no belt. And his name is second. That's because AJ's bougie team do what they do. Oh, we're not fighting unless we steal you six belt. We're not fighting unless we're first of the card. We're not fighting unless we get the second walkout. These are prima donna things. AJ said, oh, I'm, I'm ready to fight everyone. No, you're not. And you've exposed that. What you're ready to do is carry on pretending like you're this fake, humble, fake wannabe showgirl. And you deserve, if there's a god here, this guy will get knocked out. I'd love to see it. Knocked out or, or uh, tell I want to see him quit again. That's the truth. I want to see Dubois hit him, yeah. It might not, again, my base case is that AJ, I think AJ's right hand, if he's if he gets it off, he probably will get it off. But I'd love to see him get clopped because Dubois does have a kind of a, he does have a, he can clobber them hooks over. I can see him clobbering hook over. AJ getting clopped here and being like, oh, freezing up. I'd love to see that. Because he don't want to fight like that. Never once seen him fight like that, if I'm honest. He's good at punching things. He ain't good at getting hit back. That's what he's not good at. So yeah, I'm pissed off. Um, yeah, super duper pissed off, ain't gonna lie. But yeah, there's the main fight. You know what, I'll do the card tomorrow. I'll go through the card. I'm not too impressed with the card. The card's a bit, the card's a bit of an L. If I'm just to tell the truth. In fact, you know what, Bonnet? I'll do the card right now. Um, I'll do the card right now. AJ Dubois, Anthony Kakachi versus Warrington. Kakachi, man, he's tight. I like Kakachi. I only watched him for the first time against the Welsh dude. But Kakachi gonna smoke Warrington. Warrington's too leaky. Kakashi will, Kakashi can bang. Kakashi knows how to tuck up and bang, man. He will he, smoke this Warrington cat. Warrington's too leaky. He get punched up. Um, but Watsi versus Hutchinson, Hutchinson. That's an interesting fight. In fact, let's have a look at the odds there. Let's see. I'm hoping the bare knuckle cats have backed Hutchinson so I can put some coin on. Because I'll back them. I'll, bo I'll back. Oh, there's no odds here. That's annoying. There's no odds, but if, if the odds are good enough, I'd need to see. Yeah, I don't know what odds I'd need to see, but this, yeah, it's a bit whack, to be honest. Tyler Denny versus Shiraz. Yeah, the card's a bit of a flop, if I'm honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. The odds are a bit, yeah. Oh, the card's a bit of a flop. I mean. It's lacking that. It's not like the August one. Bawatsi Hutchinson, which should have been Bawatsi Yard. But Hutchinson, he's quite he's quite cute. He might listen, if he can beat Bawatsi, fair play to him. I don't think so though. But who knows? Bawatsi had a close fight with Craig Richardson. And Craig Richardson got his head boxed off by Hutchinson. So yeah, it's intriguing. I guess he's not bad, is it? But I think the problem with the Saudi cards are they've set such a high standard that this two, three years ago, this would have been like, wow, but now it's a bit dead. Um I mean, the fact you got Kakachi and Warrington as number two, it's like, okay, it's a bit weak. But yeah, Hutchinson and Buatsi is solid. Shiraz versus Denny. I don't rate Denny. Denny's a bit B-levelish to me. It's a shame, really. Hamza, what should... Hamza, I don't know what Eubank doing. What is Eubank doing? That should have been the fight. I don't know what this Tyler... That's not interesting for me. Tyler Denny's like... He reminds me of that guy Josh Kelly fought. Um... Recently, just a bit, just a bit generic. There's nothing. I watched Tyler Denny. I don't, I don't see nothing in there that, that puts me a light. He's not a massive puncher. He's not an amazing box. He's just a bit standard. Josh Kelly, Liam Smith, mm, B level. Again, this is a bit. Yeah, the card's whack. I'm gonna be honest. The only fight I'm interested in is this one here and this one here. 
So two out of five. They'll probably be good fights though, but compared to that last Saudi card, the 5v5, that was banging. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%, no doubt about it. Stop it.